Hello. Today I'm going to talk to you about what is content and how you can create more. <laughs> um, content is this really vague term that is used in marketing and online business in general. And someone's probably going to say, well, you need to create content. Someone's probably said that to you. So I did look up content to see what the definition of content is. And it's very broad. Um, in marketing terms, I would say that con I like to break content down in these two ways. So I would say content is either something that you've written or it's an image and it might be a photo or it might be something you've created like a social media image graphic. It could be a video or, and that doesn't have to be like this, like a talking head video. It could be a slideshow video. There's lots of different ways you can make video. And the final one, is that it? There's three. I've got a little note here. I'm going to double check. Audio. Audio, of course. So it could be a podcast or you may just make a voice memo and then you can actually use really cool tools like one called Headliner to turn that into a little video snippet. So yes, that's it. Audio, video, image and written. So they're the four kind of media that we're generally working with with an online business. And then with that content, I would say there are different lengths. So there's really a micro or like a snippet piece of content. So that is something a very short, like Twitter is kind of a snippet. You know, it's a very short caption. It could be a tiny little video, like a GIF or even a 10 second video. Um, it could just be a, an audio snippet. So you may have a podcast, but you might just make a snippet. Um, video, audio, image, or oh, image really is like, you, you can have a big image or a small image, but the image, how long that's consumed by the reader is really not in your control. Um, so then there's a snippet and then there's kind of small. So, you know, like a social media post might have a couple of paragraph caption, or you might write a blog that is very short. It might just be, um, a couple of paragraphs. You might have an audio that is, you know, it's a couple of minutes. It's not like an hour. It's not a long thing that people really need to commit hard to. It's just sort of a smallish piece that's fairly consumable. Um, and then there's what I would call long. So, you know, some people like to write a long article or they have a long podcast episode or there's a long interview video or just a long video. Um, just something that people need to sit down and it's going to take time out of their day and they're going to really commit and go all in on that piece of content. So that's pretty much how I break it down. So there's loads of different examples in that structure, you know, so we've got like a, sh a short, very short snippet style video could be like an Instagram reel or an Instagram story, you know, a very, a very short. So I've already said a Twitter post, but, you know, um, in another video I made, I previewed Seth Godin's blog and he has, he has some blog posts that are just one or two sentences. So you can, and like Leonie Dawson sometimes creates blog posts that have a bunch of images and not a lot of writing. So writing wise, it doesn't have to be very long and it can still be a blog. Um, so I'm just getting up my little, oh, an Instagram post with a caption, depending on how long the caption is, I would say that's a small piece of content, for example. Whereas a Facebook post that has around 2,000 words would be a long piece of content because people would have to stop and they'd have to really commit to reading that. Um, the same Facebook post could be put onto your blog and you could just tease it out differently. You could add images or you might add some diagrams. Um, and that would be a longer piece of content. You could also read that blog out, which is what I'm doing now. I wrote a, a medium to long blog, and then you can convert that into a video. Um, you could turn that video from that video, you could grab the audio and you could turn that into a podcast. And that's a sort of longer piece of audio content. Um, I love to use headliner app. And so then you can turn a podcast into a video <laughs> and it could be a long video or it could be a snippet video. So it's really possible to just choose one kind of content that you like to deliver and to repurpose that into lots of different things. Repurposing just means using that one piece of content and changing the 
content style. So changing it from an image to a video, from a video to an audio. So I just encourage people to play around for a bit if you haven't started making content yet or even if you are making content play around with those four different types the audio the visual the image the video and the audio written because you know like I have weighed heavily on video it's been become easy for me and I haven't been investing my energy into writing so now I'm trying to focus on writing more and you may find that you really find videos almost impossible but you like writing but what you could do if you can handle making an audio if you can handle recording your voice is you could record your voice and then turn that into a video so the reason people encourage video is because the algorithm on Facebook and Instagram and probably LinkedIn now as well <clears throat> really favours videos and a lot of people will and that is because people lo lo have loved watching videos but the trick with video is that people have to be able to put their audio on so then you might need captions so now you see we start getting into this big oh yes and then you have to have this and then you have to have that so I think that gets in the way of how to make more content because that's the trick is to be creating content regularly now my business mentor George Cow has a great course called authentic content creation and he talks about three stages where you have stage one which is casual content so that's where you've had an idea and you're just going to kind of test it without investing too much energy into it. So you might make a 60 second video or you might, if you like to write, you might write a really quick post about it and just put it out there and see if you get much of a response to it. And then if you find that you are getting a response to that topic, then you might take it to the next level that he calls stage two, which is where you invest a bit more energy into it. So you might write it out as a blog. You might turn it into a more you know better edited video you might um turn it into a book chapter or you know you would just turn it into a podcast episode or create an audio or do work that idea a bit more edit it a bit more you might seo that topic for your website searchability and all you invest a bit more energy into it and then stage three is where you turn it into a paid product so a course or something like that so I think that is a thing that's helped me a lot is to have a more casual approach to creating content where I don't have to sit down for a full hour and invest tons of energy into any one piece of content when it's a brand new idea. I can just do a quick video and see how people respond to that. I've been doing that on Instagram and that's been working really well as a 60 second video. And it's also a massive challenge trying to get a message out in 60 seconds. So that's been something fun I've been playing with. And the other thing is really a mindset thing where instead of thinking... I need to create this content because I want to sell that product. And then there's all this kind of weird energy caught up in that piece of content, as well as thinking that that piece of content has to do something for me. Um, it doesn't seem to work very well. And what I've been focusing on more is a sort of curiosity approach, like being curious and thinking things like, well, I wonder if my people will be interested in this topic. I wonder how I can say this in 60 seconds. I wonder, just more, a bit more curious, <laughs> as you can see. I'm going to quickly check my note because I did have, oh, yeah, how clearly and simply can I express this through writing? Because, like I said, I'm trying to practice writing a bit more. Um, I wonder if anyone agrees with this. And questions like that. So my content has become more of an experiment that because I'm focusing more on that stage one content, and we're just playing and just seeing what's going on. And I'm not thinking I need to do this because I want to get that result. It's really freed me up a lot. So just to wrap up, I would say that what is content? It's something that's an audio, it's a video, it's an image, or it's something written that you share via your blog or social media or podcast. It's got different lengths. And how can you create more? What I've noticed is that when I have a more experimental approach and a more curious approach that I'm able to create more content. I'm, I'm able to create content every day if the pressure is off and it's just short, it doesn't have to be perfect and I am doing it in a way that's exploratory. And I'm thinking that those tips have helped a lot of people. I know from working with my mentor, George Cow, and I also know from my own experience that 
um, other clients have shifted the way they feel about their content and they're not just looking at it as a hard sell approach. It's more of an act of service and it's more of a curiosity and exploration process that's just part of the way their business interacts with the wider world. I hope that's been helpful and I hope you have a beautiful day and I really thank you so much for watching and I'll see you really soon. Bye.